Hey, Germany, the country that bombed this country, you know, in our grandparents' lifetimes, so theoretically the grandchildren of Nazis, can get in and out of England easier than the grandchildren of people from the Commonwealth who fought against the Nazis. And where do they come from? When we talk about immigrants, do we mean people from Australia and New Zealand? Didn't Boris Johnson go to Australia and say, hey, we're culturally the same? Was he talking about the Aborigines when he said we, that? We call them expats. Right. He says we're culturally the same to the white people in Australia and New Zealand because they're ethnically British, you donut. So that's why we're culturally the same and we're not culturally the same as Africans and Asians because they're different cultures, Akala, you twat. Isn't that a coincidence that the dates are always so close? 60,000 enslaved Africans in Jamaica under a man called Sam Shop burnt down half the plantations in Jamaica, killed a whole bunch of slave masters. 500 of them were hung in revenge, but nonetheless, slavery, the back of slavery in Jamaica, in Haiti and elsewhere had been broken. There was no use for it even anymore. And of course, it wasn't central in many ways to Britain and other more industrialized countries' economies at that point. But again, that's another debate for another day. That's not to say there were not genuine abolitionists in, the, in this country. Slavery was a huge business for different African kingdoms. You know the story that we got when we were kids that your ancestor was out on one Sunday with his girlfriend and some white man jumps out of the bush and throws a net over him? It's not how it happened. Slavery was big business. Africans sold other Africans to the Europeans. Rudyard Kipling calls the white man's burden to go and civilize all these stupid brown folks that have been writing and having civilizations for thousands of years, but let's forget all of that. Black people had Africa, that big old continent over there. They never built one boat that was seaworthy. Not one. There's not one monument in Africa, in all of Africa. I know you're talking about Egypt. I'm, Egypt is not Africa. There are no great cities that were built even before the first colonization of white people coming to the shores of Africa or the slave ships, black men built nothing, no sewer system, no houses above one level, and none of them made out of stone, all of them made out of grass and wood. But I was truly horrified by what was happening around me. <laughs> We just arrived and were setting up and what I wasn't prepared for was the fact that there are obviously young girls here that have children in part of this glue community. One of the most shocking things I've ever seen in my life is the mothers who are heavily addicted to giving the glue bottle to their toddlers. Oh my God, want something yeah. it's, it's about me right now. Me to understand, what do you mean? We, we, we saw that many women who were coming here with the story of rape, after to be raped, they are wounded in the genital party. And uh, it can be to cut the labial, it, it can be to cut the clitoris, it can be to put fire at uh, some of them. Put fire? Exactly. Well, they put burning wood put in? Put plastic, uh, warm plastic. And I think that is a, it's a strategy to traumatize as possible, as they can traumatize, not only the victim, but the family. Uh, the family. Then there's the very real problem of violence against those who have been accused of witchcraft and the harvesting of body parts. There have been some horrific cases in Kenya where people accused of witchcraft were beaten with sticks and burned alive. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we burn witches over here and all still like they, like they do in Africa. In medieval fucking times. It's like how them gonna manage when the kids from foreign houses do damage. Whoa, hey, how them gonna manage when the kids from foreign houses.